Let us practice the five spiritualities with the heart of martyrdom. Taking care of the received graces is important. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Blessed Mother. As we welcome September, the month of martyrs, let us all offer up everything graciously with a heart to be martyred. Some close volunteers asked, Wouldn't it be better not to attend the prayer meeting today, considering your condition? I said, No way. Even if I have to stay in the waiting room, after being carried by others, I have to participate in it. So I'm here now. I offered up all my pains for all of you. Just before coming out right now, I used an oxygen respirator. These days, I receive so much love. It means she accepted all her pains as God's love. My oxygen saturation dropped to 82%. Do you all know about oxygen saturation? But many people might not know the specific oxygen saturation levels at which it becomes dangerous. I didn't know either. Anything above 95% is normal. Even up to 90% is fine, but my oxygen saturation dropped even more. In fact, I've been using an oxygen respirator for over 10 years. I use it even at night, but when I wear an oxygen mask, it presses against places like these and if I use it through my nose, my nose hurts a lot and it's really tough. I have a hard condition, so I can't lie flat. I have to lie on my side and when I'm in pain and squirming, that nasal tube makes me sore. <laughs> But I offered up all these pains for all of you. So today, you will receive a lot of healing. Last time, my potassium level was 12.5, so I couldn't help but undergo dialysis. But for those who undergo dialysis now, even if their potassium level reaches 6, they can't bear it and their whole body reacts in a certain way. However, mine reached 12.5. <laughs> The normal range is 3.5 to 4.5. When I went to another hospital where I said that my potassium level was 12.5, they said, if that's true, it's impossible for you to even sit and talk with me like this. They said a level of 12.5 is what happens to someone who is dying. Then I thought, ah, I should receive healing through my bloody sweat. So I used it. After that, I received the examination again and now my potassium level has dropped to 
서울까지 다닐 수도 없고 그러니까 가까운 대학병원으로 가라. 그래서 제가 기왕이 왔으니까 검사라도 좀 해주십시오. So I went to a hospital in Seoul and told them about it. They said that with a potassium level of 7.2, I should still undergo dialysis. So, at the Seoul hospital, they told me, Seeing a doctor here won't help. You can't travel from Naju to Seoul for dialysis. Go to a nearby university hospital. So I said, Since I am already here, please at least do some tests. I was very tired at that time. But I was very tired at that time. So, I had to test it. 그랬더니 검사를 딱 하고 나서 아니 칼륨이라뇨 칼륨이 3.8 나왔는데요 그래요 정상이 3.5에서 4.5인데 3.8이 나온 거예요 Because until then, I had been really struggling But that day, as I was traveling to Seoul, I started feeling much better So I insisted No, please at least do a test After they did the test, they told me Your potassium level is 3.8, you know? The normal range is 3.5 to 4.5, and mine was 3.8. 그래서 제가 치료를 받았는데 제가 고통을 안 받을 때도 여러분이 치유되지만 여러분들 치료를 해서 제가 직접적으로 고통을 받기도 합니다. So I received healing. You can still receive healing when I suffer different pains from yours, but there are times when I do suffer the same pain of yours for your healing. That's how I suffer, according to the will of the Lord. Although I suffer like that, when you respond with Amen, you can be healed and sometimes I suffer first. I've suffered first and someone's brain two more got healed. 갑자기 딱 의사의 안찌르타게 항문이 콕콕 주시고 약한 거예요. 그래서 아 오늘 항문 병다 나는다. 항문 안 아픈 분들 별로 없죠. Today I suddenly can't sit in the chair again because my rectum is sore and painful. So ah today those who have rectal diseases are all healed. There are not many people who have a painless rectum, are there? 제가 90년대에 미국 갔을 때요. 뉴욕에서 3시간 반 말씀을 전했어요. 그런데 갑자기 제 가슴이 아주 굉장히 찌르는 것 같은 그런 고통이 오더라고요. 그래서 지금 유방암이 치유됩니다. 그랬어요. 그리고 가슴이 치유됩니다. 그랬어요. 근데 어떤 자매님 저예요. 그러더라고요. When I went to the United States in 1990, I spoke for three and a half hours in New York. While I was speaking, suddenly, I felt an intense stabbing pain in my chest, as if something was piercing me. So I said, your breast cancer is being healed right now. And I said, your chest is being healed. Then a lady said, it's meant for me. She had such a severe breast cancer that even the hospital had given up on her and she couldn't sleep at night. Her husband had to continuously massage her because the pain was so unbearable. So she would briefly fall asleep and then wake up. She was in so much pain for a long time that she even thought it was like facing death. You won't feel the pain if you just pass away. But you won't understand it unless you have experienced such pain. But when I said, your chest is being healed right now, at that moment she said, Amen, it's me. At that moment, that excruciating breast pain that she had been suffering from for so long disappeared instantly when she said, Amen. It happened in 1990 during my visit to Pittsburgh in the U.S., where I extended my trip to New York. But 
오이세 할아버지라고 나중에 사신 분이 있었는데 동경을 지키고 사셨어요. 남녀분들도 우리 동경 지키고 사신 분들이 있대요. Subsequently, in November, her husband, Kim Yongbei, a Protestant, came to Naju. However, I wasn't at home then. In Naju, there was a man named Moses who chose a life of celibacy to serve the Lord. There were men who led celibacy lives. When he was about to die, he decided to donate all his property to the diocese. However, he came back to life thanks to Our Lady of Naju. He lived for a few more years. However, neither the Guangzhou or diocese nor his parish church helped him in any way. No one helped him at all. So, I continued to visit, cook for, and assist him. A few years later, he became seriously ill due to his advanced age. I had him admitted to Naju Hospital and I used to go back and forth every day to take care for him. Then, the husband of the lady whose breast cancer had been healed in New York came to Naju. He really wanted to see me and he waited at Our Lady of Naju Chapel for a long time. But I didn't show up. So, he went all the way to Naju Hospital to find me. I'm Kim Yongbei. Do you remember me? I recognized him. He mentioned that his wife had never been ill and received tremendous graces. Whenever I traveled within the U.S., the couple followed me, recording my talks. They not only experienced physical healing, but also spiritual healing. He said, I have come here to express my thanks to Our Lady of Naju and to convert from being a Protestant to a Catholic through learning Catholicism. He could have converted without coming to Naju, but because his wife had received healing through the grace of Our Lady of Naju and the couple have witnessed many miracles of love, he decided to visit Naju. He said, We want to say goodbye to Protestantism and convert to Catholicism along with our family and children. <laughs> I've mentioned this before many times. I told a pilgrim, Your liver cancer is being healed right now. Another pilgrim sitting over there said, It's me. Amen. Both of them were healed. Amen. So today, may all of you receive healing with Amen. Amen. 너무 고통스러운데 뭔지 몰라요. 그래서 고통을 보면할 수는 있지만 그러나 제가 막 죽어가는 거예요. 매일 나 죽을 것 같다. 나 죽을 것 같다. 임종님들 막 했어요. 서울 가면서도 사실은 임종님들 하고 갔어요. 가다가 내가 죽을지 모르겠다 하고 집 정리도 좀 하고 서랍 정리도 좀 하고 Last time, I was in a lot of pain and I didn't know why. I could offer up the pain, but I felt like I was dying. Every day, I thought I might die. I even started preparing for my death. In fact, when I went to Seoul for the hospital this time, I was preparing for my death. I thought I might die on the way. So, I cleaned the house, organized drawers, and did all these things. 
정말 쓰고한 데가 없어요. 사실 전에 병원에 갔을 때 저녁에 컴퓨터 보는 것도 보지 말고 절대 일을 하지 말래요. 온몸에 병이 다 왔고 잘수 있는 모든 것이 다 망가졌기 때문에 내일 죽어도 오늘 죽어도 어떤 의사가 왜 죽었을까 안할 거라고 그 정도는 심각하다 했거든요. Now, from my head to my toes, there's really no part of me that's healthy. In fact, when I went to the hospital before, they told me not to even look at a computer and definitely not to work. They said, your whole body is affected, your autonomic nervous system, everything is breaking down. So even if you die tomorrow or today, no doctor would question why. That's how severe it was. <laughs> 절대 사람 만나지 마라. 일단 사람을 살리더라도 또 사람을 만나서 그 사람에게 기쁨을 선사하더라도 내가 좋아져갖고 기쁨을 선사해야지. 기쁨을 선사해서 한달딱 나가서 사람들 만나고 죽음을 뭐하냐. 석달 하다 푹 쉬고 충전 다 해가지고 사람 만나라. 병원에서 이렇게 이야기했어요. So they insisted that I must rest. They told me not to meet anyone for at least three months. The doctors told me, even if you save people's life, even if you meet people and bring them joy, what is the use if you go out for that month, meet people and then die? You should rest for at least three months and fully recharge before meeting people. But I missed all of you so much that I couldn't do that. So, I offered up myself entirely for your healing. So all of you, I hope you all receive healing. And I will also make an effort to become healthier. Let us make efforts together. How is the world today? The world is really in a terrible state, is it not? But those of you here are truly blessed. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 24 from verse 36 to 39, it says that no one knows the day and hour, neither the angels nor the Son knows, only the Father knows. People were eating, drinking, marry, making and getting married until the moment when Noah entered the ark. Then the flood arrived and they were all consumed by it. As I mentioned before, God's right hand is raised high, holding the cup of wrath. If this cup were to be released, this world would vanish. It would be consumed away by the sulfuric flames. Yet this cup of wrath moves slightly, little by little, and as it does, this is what pours forth. Each time it pours forth, various things happen in different places. We see all sorts of occurrences, like tsunamis, for instance. In Japan, there was a tremendous tsunami. In India, China, and in many other countries all over the world where various disastrous events have taken place. There have been great fires and all sorts of incidents, and nowadays, it's frighteningly easy for someone to commit murder. Furthermore, there are several instances of torrential rain and deluge, and some are boiling hot, exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. 
Such a heat wave is said to cause the ice in the Arctic to melt. When all the ice melts, those regions will be entirely submerged in water. So, currently, unusual weather patterns and many events are happening all over the world. Our Blessed Mother already spoke about this back in 1994. She said, When snow falls and cold wind blows, you know winter is beginning. When new buds sprout, you know it is spring. Then why do you still not understand that these disasters are the signs of the beginning of great calamities? Through these many signs, you should know that a time of great calamities is close at hand. We need to be aware. <laughs> We must truly stay awake. By doing so, we must arm ourselves and put into practice the five spiritualities. If we arm ourselves and practice the five spiritualities, we will undoubtedly receive salvation. I would like to remind you that those who make pilgrimages to Naju are kept safe from disasters. We have many pilgrims from Japan, and when significant disasters have occurred there, Naju pilgrims couldn't contact their families directly, so I asked others to check on them. No one was harmed. Similarly, when a major disaster struck China recently, those areas where our pilgrims stayed were all unharmed. <laughs> On September 2, 2006, after praying the rosary while walking the way of the cross, we continued our prayers in front of the Adoration Chapel. It was a very dark day. Yet the statue of the Blessed Mother above the spring of the miraculous water was shining brightly. Emitting a brilliant light, she showered that light on each and every one of us. However, that light didn't just shine on those people present. It penetrated them and reached their families. Today, I hope that the same brilliant light shines on all of you and flows into your families as well. Therefore, we must truly stay awake. Those of you here are probably already awake, but we need to be awakened even more. We need to be more awake. Sometimes, even if we say, Awaken, awaken. There are times when we cannot wake up, right? But don't be discouraged. You just need to get up right away. Now, when something bad happens, don't think, Oh, even though the Lord and the Blessed Mother who appeared in Naju promised to rescue me in an emergency, why did they let this accident happen to me? Ah, 
이만큼 살려주면 만족하죠 차는 다 배차가 됐는데 사람은 멀쩡하잖아요 근데 아참 일척적발 위기에서 저수 불구만을 당했더라도 반드시 구해주나 했고 왜 차면 이렇게 망가뜨려주셨어요 그렇게 엄마한다면 우리에게 무엇이더라고 했습니까 Instead, think like this. Oh, I was in such a sudden and dangerous situation, and I could have died. But the Lord and Blessed Mother saved me. I'm grateful for that alone. Think about it like this. If a car is completely wrecked, but the person inside is unharmed, should we say, Oh, why did you let the car get destroyed even though you promised to save us in an emergency? And blame the Lord and Blessed Mother. What good would that do to us? Nothing, right? So, we should be thankful. Oh, the car is wrecked, but we are safe. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe. If, for example, your hand got injured, you should say, Oh, thank you for not breaking my leg so I can still walk. If your leg got injured, say, Oh, even with crutches, I can still work. Thank you for that. What if your leg didn't get hurt but your stomach burst open? Or if your head burst open? You would die. That's why we should learn to be quickly thankful despite any circumstances. For instance, you were in significant pain and you took some miraculous water. Then you received acupuncture. Now that you are feeling somewhat better, you can say, Oh, I had acupuncture. And I'm feeling better. But you don't attribute the glory to the Lord, but to acupuncture. Imagine if he were to respond with, All right, you'd better get acupuncture only from now on, right? Thus, we should be thankful for everything. The Blessed Mother calls us, My beloved babies, what is there that I won't give to you? Your Redeemer, Jesus also says, what is there that I won't give to you? If we follow the Lord and the Blessed Mother and practice the messages of love and the five spiritualities, they will give us everything. Dear all, draw near to them with your whole being. If it's God's will, He will accomplish everything, but not according to our will. Therefore, when we face things like sadness, pain, agony, or conflicts, we should say, God may have his own plan for me and accept everything with amen, and it's my fault. We should practice Semchigo 
as if we are loved and graciously offer up these challenges by turning our daily lives into prayers. By doing so, we arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and put them into practice. Following this path, you will not be lost in conflicts. So, if God has a plan, He can guide us anywhere. While I was in New York, I was praying when someone asked if I wanted to visit Niagara Falls. I said no because I really don't like going out or sightseeing. But my husband Julio seemed interested and he thought, I hope we can go. It seemed like they caught onto his interest. What I didn't know was that they went ahead and planned everything, including a tour guide and a flight. I kept saying, I'm not going. But they said the guide was already on the way. His name was Peter. <laughs> Eventually, I went to catch the flight. To my surprise, the plane took off 15 minutes earlier than scheduled. Usually, flights don't leave early. They may be late, but not earlier. It's not possible, but it had already left. I thought, is this a sign telling me not to go? Maybe we shouldn't go there. <laughs> But they said I could catch the next flight because my original flight had already left and I won't have to pay extra for the ticket. So, I boarded the next flight. Remarkably, God arranged for me to meet a lady from Korea. She was from Suwon and had gone through a divorce. Even though they fought a lot, divorces are never easy. It seemed like she got a substantial alimony, which let her travel all over the world because she was not easy in her heart. I never told her who I was. This lady was traveling alone, and she ended up joining our group and the guide. <laughs> <laughs> when we went to Niagara Falls, everyone was in awe of the majestic waterfall, praising God's wonder. But I, who had seen even greater wonders performed by God, wasn't as impressed. I thought, God can do even more incredible things. He created everything. So what can he not do? We also visited the nearby Fatima Sanctuary, where there was a very large religious article shop. We went inside. At that time, there was no holy article shop in Naju. I really like religious medals and I really love to gift holy articles to others. In the past, during my visits to Italy, I purchased a multitude of rosaries. When you gift a rosary to someone, you can bring spiritual merits in heaven. 
because even those who may not regularly pray the rosary can use it for prayer. But I didn't gift rosaries with the intention of earning merits. I simply love giving gifts. Whenever we travel, when I have money, I spend it on such things and hardly spend on anything else. So, during this trip, I bought a plethora of religious items, miraculous medals, Saint Benedict medals, and various others. When it was time to pay, the nun at the counter said, Oh, Julia, Korea, Julia. I said, No, no, no. She kept saying, Julia, Julia, Julia. The nuns all gathered together. People started crowding. While I was still trying to decide if I should buy more, they said, Ah, Julia, 50% discount. They were saying they would offer a 50% discount, but if I had bought more, it would have felt like I was buying it just because of the 50% discount, so I couldn't make any more purchases. Even so, I had already bought so many holy articles, which I shared generously with our Naju pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> While in the shop, I repeatedly insisted, No, I'm not Julia. However, people kept calling me and they even rushed in with a videotape from Pittsburgh. They showed it to me, saying, Julia Kim, Julia Kim. I couldn't hide myself anymore. So, after meeting those people, I came out of there. And then there was this old couple who kneeled right in front of me. I was really astonished and I told them to please get up. Then Peter, our guide, helped translate for us and I placed my hands on their chest and prayed for them. While I prayed, both of them started crying a lot. While they were crying, they shared that they had gotten divorced and this trip to Niagara Falls was their final journey together, before separating. They had planned to go their own ways after the trip. But after the prayer, they were crying and saying, We will reunite. That's when the lady traveling with us finally recognized me and she said, Ah, now I get it. So we talked and prayed together, and the lady was so delighted that she even came to Naju on a pilgrimage. So, our meeting wasn't a coincidence, was it? I mean, in this world, where do you find a plane traveling 15 minutes early? 
but it left early to allow us to meet this lady and bring her to Naju. So in Naju, she found peace, received both spiritual and physical healing, and even got baptized. That's how the Lord works. I cannot rest no matter where I go. So, when something happens, it's because the Lord has a plan. 네, 신부님이 I went to the Philippines. Father Jerry Orbus asked some of us to come quietly for a rest. I wore wigs and short skirts and went to the mall with him. But people kept saying, Julia, Julia. But even though I was wearing sunglasses, a wig, red lipstick and all. <laughs> Father Jerry told me, Even if you don't look like Julia, where can your fragrance go? So I cannot rest anywhere I go, but whatever it is, it's the Lord's will. So now, let us entrust everything to the Lord and the Blessed Mother and arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and put them into practice. If we do this every moment, the world will change. During the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, Sulfur rained down because there were not even ten righteous people in that area. But you, all of you are righteous. So think carefully. You shouldn't be the type of righteous person who proudly declares, I'm righteous. Instead, you should be the kind of righteous person who humbly admits, I'm a sinner. <laughs> this way, we should all journey to heaven together, should we not? I talk about this all the time, but it's harder for a rich man to enter heaven than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Going to heaven is spiritually challenging and really hard without practicing true faith. However, when you are armed with the five spiritualities and practice them, you can go to heaven, escorted by the angels on your last day. You can pass through the eye of a needle easily. Don't worry, just arm yourselves with the five spiritualities and put them into practice. For that, let us offer up every moment of our lives into prayers. When you leave your comments on the Nadja website, you can pray, Lord Jesus, may the sinners as many as the numbers of characters I write to repent. And you can also pray for yourself with as many characters as you write. For example, writing 10 characters in a prayer could mean the removal of 10 pains of yours. Believe it. Amen. 
그 기도가 그대로 이루어졌어요. 돌아오게 해주시라고. 그랬는데 돌아왔습니다. 아멘. 네. 그래서 뭐 일을 해야 되겠 이렇게 여러분이 치유하시거나 기도가 이루어지면 제 영혼도 막 날아갈 것 같이 기쁘잖아요. 아멘. 네. 우리 함께 나눕시다. 아멘. 네. And when you believe, you have received that grace. How joyful it is. Just a while ago, our head volunteer came in and told me about someone who had tried to commit suicide by taking a flight. I prayed, offering my pain as a sacrifice, and a prayer was answered. I prayed for his safe return and it happened. Everything was resolved. When you receive healing or when the prayers for you are answered, it feels like my soul is soaring with joy. So, let us fly together gracefully and dance beautifully. Last evening, someone collapsed. Just before that, I was in excruciating pain. My head felt like it was about to explode, and I couldn't even open my eyes. I was dizzy and on the verge of collapsing, so I retreated to a room. I was writhing in pain when our head volunteer called me. He requested my prayers for someone. While praying, I implored, Lord Jesus, please grant complete healing today so that this person can join the pilgrimage tomorrow. Remarkably, that person did indeed participate in the pilgrimage today. <laughs> 제가 직접 기도 안 해도 치유라고 해요. 어떤 분 상당히 자궁이 안 좋은데 병원을 못 가더라고요. 근데 바닥이 흥건할 정도로 막 자궁에서 피가 오는데요. 카톡으로 그랬는데 밤이니까 병원도 못 간다고 해서 그렇게 심각하면 일주일이라도 전화해서 병원을 가봐야지 그랬더니 외할아버지가 담석인가 노리를 썼는데 Through faith, even when I didn't personally pray for the person, healing was still received. There was an individual with a severe problematic uterus, but she was unable to visit the hospital. She explained that her uterus was bleeding profusely to the extent that the floor was drenched. She conveyed this to me on Cacao Talk. An SNS in Korea, and since it was night time, she said she couldn't go to the hospital. I advised her, if it's that severe, you should call 911 or something and seek immediate medical attention. However, she responded by sharing that her grandfather had passed away due to a hospital error which had made her fearful of going to the hospital. <laughs> 근데 결국 자궁에서 피가 그것이 싹 사라져. I thought, I see, and I prayed for her. Afterward, the bleeding from her uterus completely disappeared. 그 자매님 오늘 제가 아무것도 모르겠지만 그래서 우리가 은총을 받고 나면 증언을 하잖아요. 그러면 말도 못 했어요. She might testify about it today. You know, after we receive grace, we testify, right? Then the devil cannot take it away. In Ansel, a while back, there was a woman who had breast cancer for the third time and it seemed like she was going to pass away. They say that when breast cancer comes back for the third time, it's usually fatal. Her condition was extremely severe. Blood was flowing from her uterus and she was in unbearable pain, feeling as if her head was being squeezed tightly. There was a Naju pilgrim named Veronica. 
Veronica contacted the lady in Ansong and proposed that they visit Naju. The lady agreed without really thinking. <laughs> However, on the June 1st, when she had plans to go to the hospital the next day, she received a call in the evening saying, Let us leave for Naju early tomorrow. Even though she had already arranged to meet her husband at the hospital, she came to Naju without informing him. <laughs> So, as she listened to the messages, until then, she had thought she wasn't a sinner, but a righteous person. But from that moment, she truly began to cry, saying she was a sinner. Her body started getting hot, and when she was returning home, she said she was so hot that the person sitting next to her couldn't bear it. When she got home, she poured ice-cold water over herself. She did it repeatedly. Her uterus bleeding completely stopped, and all her pain vanished. So, that's how she experienced healing, and ever since, she has been fine. During that time, mobile phones were not common. So people had to write their testimonies and send them. When she informed the volunteers on the pilgrimage vehicle that she had received healing, they encouraged her to write a testimony. She initially agreed but later had reservations because she had harbored resentment towards a priest and felt embarrassed to write it. So she thought, oh well, I won't write it then. <laughs> However, right after making that decision, she fell seriously ill again, and her uterus began bleeding again. So she said, No, I was wrong. I will write it. After giving her testimony, she was completely healed and has been fine ever since. <laughs> However, another person who had been healed said, I promise to attend Thursday holy hours and keep the first Saturday devotions for the rest of my life. But when he didn't come to Naju and didn't keep his promise, he departed for the afterlife early. So, Therefore, it's really important to manage the graces we receive well. There could be countless graces you have received, whether you can recognize them or not. There was a lady named Helena from Gunsen, and she shared her testimony in the year 2000. She had been suffering from leg disability for 20 long years. Doctors had suggested amputating her leg, but she declined that option. Instead, they performed a procedure involving shaving some bone and inserting three nails. This left her leg shorter, making it difficult for her to walk properly and causing her constant pain. Due to her condition, she mostly remained at home, only occasionally attending church. <laughs> Some 
그래서 뭐 성당만 다니고 그랬는데 누가 나주에 자가 들어요. 막 나주를 자랑했어서 무엇을 그렇게 해도 자랑한가 그러고 한번 가보고 싶어서 그냥 온 거예요. Her situation had become so critical that the priest advised her not to come to the church anymore. Instead, he promised to bring Holy Communion to her at home. It was a severe case. So, she visited the church only occasionally. Someone suggested, let us go to Naju, and just boasting about Naju. She wondered, what is so special about Naju? Out of curiosity, she decided to come. 그냥 와도 괜찮습니다. 믿음으로 와도 좋고 불신으로 와도 좋습니다. 사울 있잖아요. 밤을 밖에 있던 사람도 사울처럼 그렇게 되시는 분들 많을 거니까 여러분들 저 사람은 나주를 밖에 한 사람이 반대 헌신 말고 기회 있을 때 나주에 모시고 오시면 또 그분이 해결할 수 있잖아요. 아멘. 그래서 주님의 성모님께서 더큰 일꾼으로 쓰실 수 있고요. 아멘. 여기 계신 분들도 그런 분들 많이 있을걸요. It's okay to come without any specific reason. You can come with faith or without faith. It's okay. You know so? There may be people who are great persecutors but can't change. Just as O did. So dear all, please don't say, Oh, that person is against Naju, so it's not possible. When the opportunity arises, welcome them to Naju. Then they can repent. Afterwards, the Lord and the Blessed Mother can use them as even for greater works. I believe that many of you are also like them. Yes, so this lady managed to come to the chapel, but then others said, Let us go to the Blessed Mother's Mountain. She didn't have the courage for that and said, I cannot go. But she came with their support and encouragement. She was already grateful for coming here, but then they suggested praying the Stations of the Cross. Oh, she couldn't even think of the Stations of the Cross. However, they urged her to do it. Well then, let us think of going hand in hand with the Lord and the Blessed Mother, she thought to herself. She grabbed her walking stick, received support, and went. After the Stations of the Cross, as they were coming down, someone threw away her walking stick. So she thought, Ah, Jesus, I don't need to hold the walking stick anymore. She tried to step down, and miraculously, her foot landed flat on the ground. Her bones had completely grown. So, when her foot touched the ground, this lady was amazed and was at a loss. Surprisingly, her leg which had been disabled for 20 years, the leg that the doctors told her to amputate, had completely recovered and got back to normal. So all of you, receive those amazing graces. In Naju, the dead come back to life. People on the verge of death recover. The deaf can hear. The blind gain sight. The mute can speak. The paralyzed stand. The lame walk. Cancer patients are healed. And among those here, many cancers have been healed too. Don't question, why haven't I been healed? 
Instead, place your complete trust in the Lord and the Blessed Mother. So, let us be thankful for healing. Be thankful for suffering. God must have a plan. Entrust everything entirely to the Lord. Arm yourself with the five spiritualities and practice them so that on our last day, let us enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Thank you. Let us meditate on the messages of love from Jesus and the Blessed Mother. This is the message of love from Jesus on September 1, 2007. My beloved children who responded with Amen to my mother's call, and gathered here. As I have chosen you for my great plan of salvation, Throw off the mask of the loathsome errors from those who are denouncing as a heresy. Even the most sublime and pure love of me and my mother, which we have sent down after seeing the sublime and beautiful sacrifices by my most beloved little soul. Be obedient to the truth and accomplish your mission through martyrdom. <laughs> It will soon be exposed that their conduct is like pouring a cup of water to put out the fire on a cart. My mother's immaculate heart will triumph, making the whole world overflow with joy, love and peace and you will receive eternal happiness at my table in my kingdom on the last day. Amen! Amen! Amen. This is the message of love from the Blessed Mother on September 2, 2006. <laughs> My beloved children, if more children gather and pray with their hearts widely open, and in all sincerity that God who listens attentively to the sounds of prayers combined with sacrifices, finances, and gracious offerings by little souls gathered with their hearts filled with unrestricted love and devotion. Bestow on them the cup of blessing instead of the cup of wrath. He will send down boundless love and blessing instead of the chastisement that He is to send down. Amen! Amen! Amen. 예수님과 성령님의 사랑의 메시지 말씀이 여러분 모두에게 그대로 이루어지길 바랍니다. I hope that the messages of love from Jesus and the Blessed Mother may be fulfilled in all of you as proclaimed. 가슴에 손을 얹으시고 눈을 감으십시오. Place your hands on your hearts and close your eyes. 그리고 내가 이제까지 잘못했던 모든 것들 주님과 성령님께 온전히 내어드립시다. Completely offer up to the Lord and the Blessed Mother everything we have done wrong up until now. Have we not criticized and judged others? Have we not conveyed inaccurately the stories we heard? Therefore, 
Have we not caused distraction to others? Have we not spoken harshly when talking to others, causing them pain? Even though the other person spoke to us with good intentions, have we not misunderstood or misinterpreted their words? Let us confess our wrongdoings wholeheartedly to the Lord and the Blessed Mother. Amen. <laughs> Even though we want to give love, truly want to give love, if the love is not accepted by others, that too is painful. However, clinging on to those won't be right either. Obsession is an illness. So that we may put others at ease more, let us prostrate and bow lower again and again. If we have stiffened our necks so far, let us loosen up our necks now. As the rice ripens, it lowers its head, so that we may become the little souls who bow our heads, help us resemble Jesus and the Blessed Mother with more humble hearts. Amen. Jesus, we entrust ourselves entirely to you. We are inadequate, endlessly unworthy. Yet, if we have lived all this time without realizing our inadequacy, please help us recognize our faults from now on. Haven't we criticized others with our mouths or judged others? Haven't we slandered anyone? Haven't we perceived the beams in our own eyes, but only tried to remove specks from others' eyes? And worse, haven't we piled up the beams in our own eyes while advising others? Let us reflect on these. We should remove the beams from our own eyes before trying to remove the speck from others' eyes. <laughs> Framing and driving wedges between others make invisible maggots emerge from our mouths. If we don't repent and make penances, these maggots will torment us even after death. Lord, if any of your children here have had the maggots come out of their mouths, burn them all in the fire of love without exception of a single soul. Even if we haven't made penances for those sins, grant us the heart to do so. Moreover, grant us the grace to confess that we are sinners. Just as Mary Magdalene repented in tears while lowering her head before you, wiped your feet with her hair, anointed them with a fragrant oil in preparation for your burial. Help us also wipe and wash your feet through repentance. Amen. 
in this world of pandemonium and decay. While material civilization advances, the inner state deteriorates. Parents killing children, children killing parents, husbands killing wives, wives killing husbands, lovers killing each other. Countless murders are happening. 우리는 이제 우리 자신을 예수님과 성모님께 온전히 바쳐 더욱 작은 영혼이 되고 예수님과 성모님 똑 닮은 쌍둥이 동생들이 되어서 지옥 같은 이 세상을 온전히 구할 수 있는 도구들이 되게 하여 주십시오. Now, let us completely offer up ourselves to Jesus and the Blessed Mother, becoming even more little souls and twin siblings exactly resembling Jesus and the Blessed Mother, so that we may become the instruments capable of completely saving this world which is like hell. 이 모든 자녀들이 설사 잘못했다 하더라도 그 모든 잘못을 오늘 주님과 성모님께 용서 청하고 모두 되게 은총으로 구원 받을 수 있도록 은총 내려 주소서. 자비의 물질길 내시고 자비의 빛을 내리시고. All these children have done wrong. Grant them the grace to seek forgiveness from the Lord and the Blessed Mother today, so that through the grace of repentance they may all be saved. Send down the streams of the water of mercy and the light of mercy on them. Amen. 2006년 9월 2일 내리셨던 그 성애를 이 모든 자녀들에게 내려 주시옵소서. Bestow upon all these children the precious blood that you sent down on September 2, 2006. Amen. 예수님 오늘 그 똑같은 성애 비를 내리십시오. Amen. 예수님께서 우리를 구원하시려 십자가상에서 흘리신 그 고귀한 보혈로 물한 방울 피한 방울도 남김 없이 쏟아신 그 고귀한 보혈로 영원 육신 깨끗이 씻어주고 닦아주고 막힌 것을 뚫어주소서. 그래서 병들고 지친 우리 영원 육신 영을 깨끗이 치유받을 수 있도록 도와주소서. Jesus, please send down the exact same rain of precious blood to us today. With the precious blood that you shed on the cross to save us, which you poured out without sparing any single drop of your water and blood, please completely wash and cleanse us pure and spotlessly clean. Wipe our souls and bodies and break through all the clogs in them. By doing so, grant us the grace that our sick, weary souls and bodies may be totally healed. <laughs> 우리 잘못을 용서 청하오니 용서해 주소서. 우리 새롭게 시작하겠습니다. 예수님께서 우리를 용서해 주시니 우리도 모든 일을 다 용서하겠습니다. We repent entirely of our sins and ask you for forgiveness for our faults. Please forgive us. We will make a new start. Jesus, as you forgive us, we will also forgive everyone.
채워주리 예수님 사랑 없는 가정을 오늘 다 치해 주십시오 서로 상처받고 주고받는 것도 용서해 주시고 온전히 치하여 주시옵소서 Jesus, please heal all the families where there's no love today Today, please forgive the wounds we have caused each other and grant us complete healing for the wounds we have given and received. Amen.